everybody, this is Neil Filer. I'm here with a weekly astrological message for the week between the 8th <clears throat> and let's say I'll speak about till the 16th of August 2021. This is where I talk about celestial transits, the energy in the sky that affects all of us, all zodiac signs. We begin this week with a new moon in the 16th degree of Leo. Um, in the first part, I'm going to talk in English. Second part, I'm going to actually talk in astrologish. So, generally, when we come to the energy of this time, this is a conflictual time. This is a time that demands us to introspective, like to have an introspective look on ourselves and understand better what does it mean to be successful for us? What does it mean, true success? What is it that we do that we love? It needs to be a part of our heart. It needs to wake us up smiling each morning. This is a hugely important time in determining our future, our heritage, and indeed our leadership in our lives, our personal leadership and leadership in general. This is a time of new things to be born out of love, out of the willingness to actually play a part in the game of life and live your mark by the fact that you have been on this earth and may it be a positive mark. You know, this whole axis of Leo and Aquarius sitting just in front of it in astrology symbolizes not only the placement of the leader, the king, but also his part in the group, his part in progressing humanity and freeing humanity from the shackles of old traditions of obsolete ideas and rules to actually help us all march forward the true role of the king is to make sure that all that is under it in a sense is in equilibrium and in a state of bliss only after that come the fringe benefits but you know talking to an anarchist here social anarchist that doesn't believe in monarchy so maybe that I'm not the best person to talk about that this is this is a time in the sky that the importance of the role that we have to play here you know in determining the future of mankind future of this planet future of countless species, future of our children and our children's children is so immense, you know, it's burdening all of us to the extent that we all want to go on vacation, we all want to see a movie, read a book, or just fall asleep. We want to forget about that. And indeed many people are struggling, both with the uncertainty and the, the change in the economy, in the global economy, in the financial systems and they need us right now and yes we do need them because social cohesiveness is part of what the sky is asking us at this time help your brethren help your sisters for when the time comes you will need their aid form families that have not blood relations but heart relations love relations whether that love is plutonic or romantic and in that sense I want to come to Venus the planet of relationships and romance and self-love and my whole relationship with myself my senses money in my life everything that draws in value to my life from the material plane whether it's other people or what I can do and my my um, assets and talents and th this planet throughout the week is going through a transformation it begins the week with a very romantic almost utopic look on things it could be a bit too naive you know it could be a bit too unrealistic whether it comes to money matters things in your business or actually relationships with other people in your life boundaries need to be set logical and certainly realistic boundaries need to be set in order for that utopian romanticism to 
to actually inseminate your imagination and pull you in the right direction, but in the right way. And just a few days later, Venus is going through a transformation by Pluto. <clears throat> it's a time for introspection. It's a time for understanding better how we need to do things and looking for that strength of transformation, of self-transformation, of psychological and emotional transformation, of understanding what it is we need to change in order to grow stronger. That comes from the inside. Don't look for it outside. This is a time to search within and understand yourselves better, know yourselves better, and indeed make the psychological effort, the emotional effort to change things in your life without even rising from your sofa. You see, the future is held on a blimp. <laughs> and this war, this struggle is going to be won not only out in the streets, but by the small decisions we all make every day. That mosaic of small decisions of each person would be what would tilt the big picture to be a dark one, one of light. Understand that. And I can share something I've been struggling with in my life, you know. I've, I've, I've been having digestion problems for many years. I've been trying to become a total vegan for many years. I've made other people vegans. But when it comes to my own digestion, you know, sometimes I need meat. I'm drastically, um, uh, you know, anemic and my body digests meat the best. I think people are going to continue to eat meat. It's just not going to come from an animal in the near future. It's going to come from the lab. Nevertheless, I know that if we want to change this world for the better, if we want to save it, you know, from a lot of calamities, if we want to prevent a lot of harm and misery, each one of us needs to become vegan right now. The fact that I'm not able to do that in my life completely frustrates me frustrates me you know nevertheless you know this, that struggle of changing our little habits is what is going to make this place into a better place it's not going to happen any other way it is up to you and me so here comes the second part where I talk about the aspect so we have the moon conjunct the sun new moon in 16th degree of leo august 8th it's a moon that was just um opposed to saturn a minute before that it still is in a square to uranus it's conjunct mercury really about taking the adult responsible decision we can truly feel the tension of the dissonance the gap between what needs to come in the future and what is how the it's it's so you know, incompatible already, you know, to much of the ideas and concepts that we hold. We can see how the capitalistic system is lacking so much awareness that is actually causing a lot of the problems that we are dealing with. How the drive for selfish uh, um, gain, you know, for um, being greedy and making more money has been rewarded without any 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 significance to the harm it is causing the planet or other people or animals in the past and we understand that needs to change and it will these are years of struggle but they're here you know and the earth is not going to let us escape it so in the next couple of years we're going to see four years five years a big struggle between the part of humanity that demands change immediate change and the part of humanity that feeds off the old guard the old rule the old law and is very reluctant to give up its strength and power its source of strength and power don't demonize people on the other side of the fence there are people just like you and me and you know if someone needs to hear what you have to say 
it's them. It's about making bridges, not tearing us even further apart. Um, the ninth is a great day for communication, signing deals, and expanding people who know you, know about you, you know, just spreading your ideas and communication. But it is also a good time whenever Mercury is opposed to uh, Jupiter as it is on the 11th exact um, to watch out from verbal diarrhea to watch out not to be untactful or too direct not to say things that might be interpreted in the wrong way or to give up information that was supposed to keep to be kept disclosed you know to be you know kept discreet not to disclose it um, Nevertheless, as I said, it's a lucky time for actually, you know, communicating and spreading your words, spreading new news and broadening your social circles. Um, the tenth is when Venus is opposed to Neptune. That's a romantic, utopic, but very, uh, you know, um, fruitful and inseminating to our imagination uh, aspect in the sky. At that same day, the tenth, the moon is conjunct Mars. It's a bit of an emotionally agitated day. So watch out for it. The 11th, as I said, Mercury is opposed to Jupiter exact. And we have uh, the Moon conjunct Venus, trining Pluto. And we have, of course, Venus trining Pluto as well. That's the search for inner transformation regarding relationships, the relationships I have with myself and with money and value and matter in my life with the land, with the earth, the fact that I am in a physical body here and I am part whether I like it or not. You know I just saw a food show and they went into the Japanese Tokyo fish market. Now I love fish you know, I, I, I do try to eat the small ones and not the big ones, not the commercial ones, I pick the fish that no one else likes. And the smaller the better the healthier but the Japanese you know back in the 50s after World War two started sending things over ships over to the US filled with all kinds of goods and they didn't want to return the ships empty so they filled them up with tuna cans tuna was not part of Japanese culture it was not a part of the fish eating culture before the 50s but it gained enormous popularity after Americans brought it over so much so you know that the tuna population in the world is now over 99 or 95 percent extinct all over the world we cleaned out the oceans everybody's eating tuna not me but everybody else is almost everybody else and when you see the amount of fish that Tokyo alone or even a part of Tokyo eats over a course of two days you understand the massacre that we're doing to ourselves you understand the butchering that we are doing to ourselves the scale is uncomprehensible uncomprehensible and until us you know until we take their personal responsibility nothing is going to change that's the only key that's the only key um, the 12th which is a Friday is great for strategic matters it's great for work related matters and it's great for advancing things that you know are a, a long-term process and the 13th which is a Saturday um, is a bit unstable emotionally don't be obsessive don't be compulsive and don't be too extreme with your emotions on that day it's supposed to be a good day you know keeping it in check would keep it that way and then the 14th not a good day to confront authorities you know we, we it is a good day to you know do things politely and diplomatically but don't push things too hard don't try to push it too hard whether with your actions or with your words next week you know 15th the same thing you know we could be 
overcompensating for something in the past and actually pushing too hard. And the sixth thing is especially watch your communication, watch the things that it's a, they ripe with misunderstanding. So, you know, just calming things down on these few days would do a great job. You know, it is an amazing day, says Moon sextile Venus on the 16th and sextile Saturn to actually make diplomacy our greatest ally in creating cooperation that furthers things on a strategic level. Not doing things alone, abruptly and unconsiderately. So that's about everything I had to say for this week. I want to remind you I have a group using Zoom that meets weekly to study astrology. Whether you're a beginner or intermediate, you can always contact me. My details are at the end of this video. Or for personal readings, of course. This is Nia Filer, hoping that we will all live long and prosper.